This video will show how to graph citrus trees using the clef graft. I will use the clef graft to add a new variety to an existing tree to create a multi-variety citrus cocktail tree. This is the tree that I'll be grafting to, an Oro Blanco pomelo hybrid tree. I'll be grafting a Sarawak pomelo cyan. I like to use the clef graft when the cyan is the same size or slightly smaller than the target branch. I ordered my Sarawak cyans from California's Citrus Budwood program, the CCPP. So that my graft succeeds and also to prevent the spread of disease, I sterilize my tools between grafts using chlorine bleach at a concentration of 1.5%. Cutting the target branch with the saw creates a minimum amount of damage at the end of the branch. Next, I split the end of the target branch to create the cleft into which the sign will be inserted. I begin at the middle of the end of the branch and slowly rock the knife back and forth until the cut is the desired length. This cut is about one and a half inches or four centimeters long. Now I will pick the flattest side of the cyan to match the cleft in the target branch. I will cut it to a tapered point for insertion into the target branch. In recent years, Huang Long Bing, or HLB, the most deadly disease of citrus trees, has been spreading rapidly throughout the world. Invasive insects called citrus psyllids carry the disease from one citrus tree to another. Human movement of citrus trees, cuttings, and leaves has sped the spread of the disease and the insects around the world, resulting in the deaths of hundreds of millions of citrus trees. Because of disease, it is very important to understand the local situation before grafting citrus. Local laws may require the use of registered disease-tested budwood when grafting citrus. For example, the threat of HLB is so severe in California that the state mandates the use of registered budwood whenever citrus trees are grafted. The only source of registered budwood for hobbyists in California is the CCPP. The linked video shows how to order budwood. They will ship citrus budwood anywhere in the world where the local laws allow it. If the local laws do not allow it, there may be a local budwood program. Fruitmentor.com com slash citrus budwood has a list. At the very end of the video, I'll have more on Huang Long Bing in different parts of the world. As I insert the cyan into the target branch, my goal is to line up the cambium of the cyan with that of the rootstock. The cambium is a thin layer of tissue between the bark and the wood. For the graft to succeed, the cambium layers must touch. I'm going to show how I lined up the cambium layers via an animation. The bark of the cyan may be a different thickness than the bark of the rootstock. So if the outside of the bark is lined up, the cambium layers may not be in contact. By adjusting the angle of the cyan, it is easy to guarantee that the cambium layers are touching in at least one point. Here I wrap the graft with an initial layer of parafilm to seal the graft and hold it in place. To get a good seal, I gently pull on the parafilm as I wrap it. This makes it stick to itself. In order to ensure close contact between the cambium layers and to strengthen the graft while it is healing, I wrap it with a rubber band. Here I prune the cyan to leave three or four buds. The next step is to wrap the graft with the second layer of parafilm. I wrap starting from the bottom, overlapping as I go up and gently pulling on the parafilm to make it stick. Overlapping the layers keeps the graft from drying out and also will keep out rainwater. Other than the buds, I completely wrap the cyan, including the cut end. Here I add a label with the name of the variety and also the date of the graft. In order to keep the graft from drying out, I wrap it with aluminum foil which reflects the sunlight and keeps the graft from getting too hot. After a three week healing period, I remove the foil and see that the graft is still green. The time lapse video shows about four months of growth of the graft. Unwrapping shows that the graft has healed well this includes the back side where there was no attempt to match the cambium. Here's the whole Sarawak branch. I've patch budded a pomelo called Mato Buntan. I've also clef grafted a pomelo called Herado Buntan.
I have made this video to stop the spread of Wang Long Bing. Spreading the word about the importance of using budwood that is tested free of disease will save trees. Please help by sharing this video. Also, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. You can also help by subscribing to this YouTube channel. Also, be sure to check out my other videos. You can download a free ebook with tips for successful citrus grafting at fruitmentor.com slash grafting tips. Let's stop HLB from spreading any further in California or any other place in the world.